Welcome to Defensive Back University. We're going to take you back to school so you can learn everything about playing defensive back. You will get the why and the how to only from DBU, from Pick 6 Athletics. I get a lot of specific questions about playing defensive back. So from basic things to advanced concepts, this will be my way of giving you the answers. Now DBU is going to be a playlist on YouTube. It's also going to be a blog on the website pick6athletics.com. And it'll be a new style of Instagram post, as well as TikTok. We'll show you proper examples so you know how everything's supposed to look. But then we'll also show you failures and break them down so you don't make the same mistakes. Only bigger, more technically sound, game-changing plays. If you're a great athlete, this is the section you're going to need to translate that into football, take your game to the next level. And if you're not yet a freak athlete, then make sure you check out the rest of the account and you'll be taking the first step in the right direction. So let's get into it so you can make the best plays when it matters. The first lesson of DBU, how to properly backpedal. Backpedaling is an art. It doesn't come to everyone easy. It must be read many times before feeling smooth and comfortable. If you're playing off coverage or you're a deep defender, this is when you're gonna use your backpedal. The better you get at it, the longer you could stay in your pedal while keeping your leverage and you also get sharper breaks coming out of it. So let's start at the feet and work our way up. Now we'll talk about the exact stance in a later post, but for now, just keep your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a bit more, with one foot slightly behind the other. And a good way to make sure you're low is by touching the ground. It's a great habit to get into, use every time you line up for a drill if you're competing. Just make sure your first step is going backwards and you're pushing off your front foot. You don't want to fall step by stepping forwards first, because that's just gonna take more time. Have enough weight on your front foot so you can efficiently push off of it coming right out of your stance. Make sure throughout your pedal that you're staying on the balls of your feet and not coming onto your heels. Getting on your heels will only get you off balance and take longer when you're coming out of a break. But when you break on the balls of your feet, you're ready to explode out of there. You also wanna keep your feet narrow and close together when you're pedaling. And don't forget that your feet need to stay low to the ground so you can break quickly whenever you need to. I recommend having the balls of your feet skimming the ground the whole time. If your feet get too high off the ground, it will slow you down and take longer to come out of there on your break. Now your legs should have a slight bend in them, but not too deep like you're gonna squat. And because if you're playing a game, it might feel a bit faster coming out if you're squatting, but think you're gonna be in it for four quarters. So you don't wanna fatigue your legs out too much. Now in the upper body, make sure you have a nice bend and you're staying low. You wanna have your weight over your toes so you can stay on them and then act as if you're hiding your numbers so the other team can't see them on your jersey. If you're low, you're gonna be significantly faster changing direction compared to someone who's standing up in their pedal. Now the last major point is to pump your arms. Don't keep them still and don't pump them up and down. You just wanna have them in a short forward and back movement as if you're gonna run, but we'll get more to that one later. For now, be sure to subscribe and follow. We got a long way and a bright journey ahead of us.